Uh, we had an early start this morning, leaving from Dana Point and making our way to Catalina Island to Avalon. So typically we go to somewhat remote anchorages and uh, throw down the hook, but today we're going to pick up a mooring ball and um, yeah, and have a lovely weekend. Uh, Clara signed up for a duathlon meeting uh, where she's going to be running and also uh, cycling. Many people may not know from the Amari videos, but Claire's day job is a cycling journalist, but she used to be a professional cyclist. It's a beautiful morning, sunrise right now, very clear as you can see Catalina. Also, you can see over here, you can see all the way down to San Clemente Island as well. So, uh, one of the most southern channel islands, and um, yeah, I would love to make it there one day. Right now, we're cruising along. Gorgeous. Claire is sleeping right now, um, but we'll make our way in, pick up a mooring, have a great weekend. Not today, Minnie. <laughs> Your mouse what is it? Go other. Um, <laughs> it's a. I don't know. It's a mini birthday. We did it safely on a mooring. Took us first try and uh, it was flawless. So here we're here in Avalon. We're a little tired, but ready to go have some lunch. <laughs> Hi. Ready? <laughs> yep, let's do this. Game face. Let's go, baby. Ah, good job. Dude. Oh, wow, <laughs> thanks. I'm a finisher. <laughs> That was really cool. That was an acorn woodpecker and uh, how about eating at somebody's um, bird feeder, which mm -hmm. is pretty cool. We may see more on the trail though, because right now it's just about, well, it's Halloween today, but right around, <laughs> right around November is uh, when a lot of the acorns are starting to set. So we're gonna go do a hike right now and uh, it's gonna be fun. Crush it. <laughs> here we go. All right, so here we are at the Wrigley Memorial Garden. It's a botanic garden up here, uh, up the street, uh, just a ways from Avalon, a short walk. Didn't take us too long. And um, yeah, it's a really cool garden that has a mix of different cactus and succulents uh, in with the natives as well. So um, it's a really cool. They have a lot of old specimens here and there's a, um, a, a memorial structure up at the top, and then it starts the Garden to Sky hike, which is um, what we're gonna do today. 
So there's a lot of plants that look like cactus that are not. So this here is actually not a cactus, although it looks very cactus-like. So this is an example of what's called convergent evolution. So this plant is actually native to uh, the old world of uh, South Africa and, 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 and around Africa uh, on that continent. And so it has very similar evolved traits like cactus, but a cactus are here on what's called the New World, uh, here on um, the Americas. So this has evolved to have succulents and thorns, all these traits for adaptation to store and protect itself uh, with water, um, and yet it is not a cactus. This is a euphorbia, and so a euphorbia is a plant that's not in the cactus family, so it's technically not a cactus. Plants that are in the family Cactaceae are cactus. It's kind of like saying that there are cars and then there are Toyotas. So Toyotas in this example are like cactus, uh, but all these plants are cars which are succulents. So. so this is actually one of my favorite types of succulents here at the garden. This is called a Boojum tree and it got that name from a, actually a Lewis Carroll poem. So it's got this weird interesting shape and so I think there was a something that in uh, one of his kind of fantasy like uh, poems or stories uh, where he called a boojum tree and they gave that the name the common name for this plant really cool plant it's really this is an old nice old specimen uh, just naturalized here in the garden this is a boojum tree <laughs> All right, let's go for a hike. Last time we did this hike, I had a ring in my pocket and was a little nervous walking up this whole place, but she knew, she knew. <laughs> Get the box in his pocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love this time of year when all the toyon berries are starting to ripen. So what target species are you wanting to see? Any kind of rafter, really. Uh, we saw the, or you saw the spotted tohi at Goat Harbor. Mm -hmm. And the island scrub jay, of course. Those are always cool to see. They're one of my favorites because they're so, um, they have a lot of personality. <laughs> right. And these are rare subspecies, right? Yes. Very cool. Rare subspecies that only occur here on the island. So, yeah, we'll see if we can find them. This is kind of cool. There's like these perfectly little round holes in the in the soil here. And that's actually from solitary bees. So native bees, most of them don't sting. And they're actually buried down into the soil and raise their young, um, but really cool. Look! <laughs> So here we are in mid-fall where there's not a whole lot of things in bloom, but we do have this Ericamaria right here. And so this is a really important plant this time of year for pollinators, so they still have a, a nectar source. A lot of it's starting to go into seed still too, which is a little late uh, compared to a lot of other plants. So this plant helps quite a bit and um, 
I think it'll be really good in the horticultural trade as well to give you kind of a year-round interest. Uh, nice fall bloomer. This is Ericamaria, um, I believe Palmeri variety, Pachyphyla, I forget, but um, the botanic name will be in here. Nice yellow blooms. There's a lot of pollinators all just buzzing around on this thing right now, so it's real, real important plant this time of year. Alright, we made it. It's a beautiful overlook. I love you, baby. Aww, I love you too, baby. That was cool. Some guy was trying to show us a photo of a fox he saw, and then all of a sudden one just ran right past us and ended up getting it on film. <laughs> So cool. First time. First time. Well, we've seen him on Santa Cruz Island, but not on Catalina. At least I haven't. Yeah, me neither. I haven't seen him on Catalina, so that was that was a real treat. Thank you. All right, I want to thank you all for joining us on this trip to Avalon, our first trip with Californica. And yeah, we had a wonderful time, saw a lot of really cool things. So I want to thank you all for joining. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button and uh, share the videos with anyone you think might enjoy them. So until next time. Thank you.